There is some concern over a new COVID-19 strain we mentioned earlier recently found overseas. It's causing cases to increase very rapidly, which has prompted several countries to impose travel restrictions. Jade Cunningham has more on what officials know about it. COVID-19 is already considered to be highly contagious, but a new strain is making it spread faster. We've seen mutations of various kinds uh, you know, in the U.S. That all viruses mutate, they mutate all the time. In fact, you may remember there's this, the strain that has evolved as the most common strain was not the original strain. And so we've been following mutations all along. This mutation has been found in a few places, including Britain, where in about a week, cases there jump 40 percent. Dozens of countries have responded by enforcing travel restrictions from the UK. Dr. Fred Lopez with LSU Health Sciences says there's a lot to learn with a strain. The first virus that was described in the United States appeared to come from China. And then subsequent to that, most of the strains that um, came to the United States derived from Europe. So we know that uh, it's just a plane ride away, so to speak, that a virus, regardless of the strain, can make its way to any part of the world within a very short period of time. While possible, it's unclear if it's in the United States. And other than being more contagious, not much else is known. Tulane professor Robert Gary says that includes its severity and how it'll impact reinfection rates and treatment. If you have one mutation that affects that binding, probably not going to impact the vaccine too much, but, but we need to keep you know, we need to keep vigilant on this. But what is known is what people can do to help protect themselves. Regardless of the strain of this virus, you need to continue to practice masking, physical distancing, frequent hand washing, staying home when you're sick. That's going to be the way we're going to decrease transmission of any strain of this virus. Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News. United States Surgeon General Jerome Adams recently told Face the Nation officials are working to figure out just how contagious this new strain is or if it was involved in a super spreader type event.